Good evening, Christiana. It is Saturday here on C2C. And look, I'm just a floating head again. <laughs> so before we've mentioned changing our final project, and for anyone who isn't us, we've decided what the change is going to be. And we are doing a readathon. Um, it's going to be really exciting. And I'm going to show you what books I'm going to read. I know it looks like a lot, but, um, you know, there are some short ones that are going to be really easy to read. But I think it's really important that everyone knows why we're doing this. And to explain it, I'm going to need some help. So we're going to do a book drive along with the readathon. A book drive, you collect books and you donate them to people who need them. Uh, there's a lot of different places that you can donate books. Literally, you just type in donate books into your search engine of choice and it comes up with a whole bunch of links. We're going to be donating to our local library, but uh, if you choose to donate to one of the places online, usually you have to pay for shipping, so keep that in mind. But also, uh, make sure check out the charity that you're donating to, because some of them are for-profit charities and then usually only like 9 to 10 or 9 to 15 percent of the profits from selling the books that you donate go toward actual charity work. Uh, so just be careful when you're looking at it. Also a lot of these charities accept money and a lot of these charities need things, uh, the nonprofit ones especially, need things like cleaning supplies and different sorting materials and boxes and whatnots and hooby doos to help keep them nonprofit and keep as much money as possible going to the charities instead of having to you know, buy the stuff to maintain their overhead on their own. So we're starting on Monday! Yes. And it's going to go Monday, Monday morning through Friday night. Friday oh. at 11.59 p.m. Right. Uh, no cheating. So we encourage you to go through your bookshelf. If there's any books that you don't think that you're going to actually read, I know I buy a lot of books and then they just sit on my shelves and originally I started off saying that I was going to read them and now it's more like a decoration. I have no intention of pulling them or, off the Or, you shelf. know, someone gives you a book and it's not really your taste and... Yeah. I mean, and you gotta make room for any books that you got over Christmas. Yeah. Or your holiday, whatever you celebrate. Hanukkah, Festivus. Yeah. Um... But, so just go through, if there's a book that you have no intention of reading, or you read and you just didn't really connect with it, and so you don't care about keeping it, you don't think that you're ever going to read it again, something, just think about donating it. There's a lot of places, especially if you live near a big city, a lot of times there's book donation centers, uh, where you can just slide that book right in there. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, local libraries always need them, add diversity into it. Yeah, also school libraries, uh, high school libraries especially, but also middle school and younger, depending on which books you're donating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Christiana. I love you. Good night, Courtney. Love you. That's weird in person. I don't yeah, like I don't it. like I don't it. Like Let's it. not do that ever again. Okay, bye.